Probably all heard already, but Miyamoto's knee is in bad shape. If you see him having a hard time, I want you to stop him immediately. That's it for today. Let's grab a bite before we head home. Sorry I needed your shoulder again. And I was the one who suggested we go eat. I'm sure you love lugging all this dead weight around, huh? Really? Well, I guess you haven't been complaining. I mean, I've always known you were tough. Sometimes when I go to my sister's to play with my nephew, I help him into the tub. Even though he's only five, he's still pretty heavy. It must be hard having to do that every day. If I can't walk, then I won't be able to go to school or bathe by myself. I won't even be able to go to the bathroom on my own. And I don't want to do that to my mom. This all hit me on our walk over here with you helping me the entire way. Hey, let me know if I become a burden on you, will you? I'm not going to hide anything from you. So I hope you feel like you don't have to either. guilty for making the whole team worry. But first, I have to win at the regionals no matter what. For their sake, too. Time to start exploring. Let's move. nearby.
Apparently fish eyes are rich in nutrients that are essential for bodybuilding. Skill. Gonna have to try it out.
down the stairs. Best to stay on your toes here. Is that treasure? Hey, that one's not like the others. The one souvenir you absolutely have to get in Kyoto is their famous snack Yatsuhashi, right? Take the enemy's next move. Don't rely on sight alone. Use all... Hope we don't run into any creeps here. It's fine to follow trends, but in the end, you should just wear what you actually like. Oh, can we go up those stairs? Stay on your toes here. A shadow! I wonder if there's a way to recover both our stamina and our concentration. Is that treasure? Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. I shall be waiting then. Are you accepting a request? Very well.
If I put in my greatest effort, I will achieve the greatest outcome. One needle, one soul. This is my super day. My everything. Huh. That cheap material has been completely transformed. I could never have done this on my own. Without you, I would probably be back home already. And thanks to all your help, the kimono is almost finished. I feel so blessed. My own country. With my aunt gone, there is nothing there for me now. I just want to hurry and put an end to this so that I may live and die in Nihon. There's something I need to tell you. I have gotten to know many people since coming to Nihon. But you have been the most Tsubarashi person of them all. If my aunt was still alive, I would tell her about what a wonderful friend you have been to me. And now, we put the final touches on this kimono. Sure, I am so tired, I may be hallucinating a little bit. But this is the last part. I can't give up now. Ready, set, go! been looking for you. What are you doing here? I kind of just ended up here somehow. It's so strange. The sky and the ground look all weird. And there's no one around. <sighs> Something bad's happening right now. But for some reason, I feel at peace. Have you forgotten? What? This is the dark hour. Ordinary people shouldn't be free to roam about. You... You've adapted to it somehow. 
too well for a human. I finally understand. That's why I feel this way whenever you are around. You are dangerous. You are my enemy. Your enemy? Enemy. That's right. It was on a night like this, with a full moon. It was a long time ago. Yes. We've met once before. You and I were enemies. Who... am I? Who are you? I am Igis, the last of the anti-shadow suppression weapons. I was created to destroy shadows. Created to destroy? And you... Your true name is Death. You are the shadow I sealed away ten years ago. Shadow? It's a full moon tonight. You did too, huh? Oh, God. I'm turning into a workaholic. <sighs> Wait. Is something actually going on? We're not certain of anything yet, but... We can't find Igus. What? 
Where could she have gone? At one point, I was able to sense a persona, but I lost Aegis right after that. You sensed a persona? Could it have been Strega? Well, she hasn't detected any of them, but we can't be positive. I've pinpointed her location. The Moonlight Bridge! All right, call the others. Let's see what's going on over there. I guess. I'm sorry. I... I... remember everything. I remember who I am. Who he is. Leader, I know why I wanted to be by your side. I'm sorry. I failed. I'm... sorry. You have no reason to apologize. You? <sighs> Ryoji-kun? Wait, what are you doing here? What is going on? It's... all my fault. W you did this?! Hold on, Akihiko. He's not showing any signs of aggression. Now tell us, who or what are you? Turns out... I'm not so different from the creatures you call shadows. You're a shadow?! I'm more than just an ordinary shadow. I'm the Apprizer, born from the Union of the Twelve Arcana. The Apprizer? I remember everything now. The terrifying truth about the shadows, and about me. I can't... It's all so hard to believe. You know the truth about the shadows? I do. What?! The Shadows are here to facilitate the rebirth of the Maternal Being. As for the Apprizer, it draws the Maternal Being to it, allowing her to awaken. And the Apprizer? That's you? That's right. This Maternal Being... what is it? She's on a level of her own. No words in our language can describe her. Ten years ago, a man collected hordes of shadows and contained them in a laboratory. That's where I was born. But the unification was interrupted, and I awoke before I was complete. After that, Igis took me down, and I returned the favor. Igis? Is this for real, Ryoji? She knew she couldn't destroy me completely, so out of desperation, she sealed me within a child who just happened to be nearby. That child grew up carrying me inside him. And by some twist of fate, he later made his way back here. He even transferred to your school. A transfer student? You don't mean... That's right. I've lived inside him for a long time. When his persona awakened, the Twelve Shadows did as well. All in order to become one with me. Ryoji, you're the Apprizer? And you were inside of him? How the hell do you expect us to just believe all that? That's all my fault. I'm sorry, but there's more I need to tell you. Ryoji-kun! He's completely worn out. Let's let him rest for now. Igus needs us too. We'll pick up where we left off after that.
He's awake now. Let's meet tonight on the fourth floor. Got it. All right. I'll see you then. Damn you, Ryoji. <sighs> Looks like we're all here. Are you okay, ryoji -kun? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. Besides, I have more to tell you guys. Ryoji-kun. Then allow me to jump right in. We have many questions that need answers, after all. Yesterday, you said the Shadows were here to facilitate the rebirth of the maternal being. Tell us more about this. What happens if she returns? The maternal being is called Nyx. Who the hell's Nyx? Nyx is the mother of shadows. In ancient times, she bestowed death upon this world. If she awakens, the world will be swallowed by darkness, and all life will perish. All life? Are you saying everyone will die? It'd be more accurate to say that We'll all surrender the will to live. Wait, are, are you talking about the lost? Stop it from happening, right? <sighs> what? Don't tell me there's nothing we can do. I'm sorry. Wait, why are you apologizing? Are you saying there's no way to stop it? That's right. You heard the bell. That's when it was all decided. I'm the appraiser. The appraiser of death. The fact that I'm here at all proves the fall is coming. The fall is coming? I think you'll live to see next spring. That's barely any time at all! <sighs> what are you guys freaking out about? Nick Schmix, am I right? All we gotta do is win and we're golden. And we haven't lost a single fight yet, have we? not possible. When you're up against Nyx, power doesn't mean a thing. It's like trying to fight the inevitable, like death or the flow of time. Nyx can't be defeated. She just can't. What? This is bullshit! This is all so sudden. I was born from a collection of shadows, but now I have a human form, so I can talk with you, laugh with you, cry with you. It's the gift I received for existing within him, and because of that, I can give you a choice. A choice? Nyx's arrival is unavoidable now, but you can choose to live in peace until she arrives. You just have to kill me. If the appraiser disappears, all recollection of the Dark Hour would go with me, and that would erase any memories of this hopeless reality. 
there'd be no way for you to remember anything. When the fall comes, it'll happen in an instant. You won't have to suffer at all. We'll forget everything? I'm saying you can go back to your normal lives. And by doing that, you might buy a little time and delay the fall too. Technically, I'm the same as Nyx, so I can't be killed. But thanks to him, there's a part of me that's become human. So if it's done by his hand, then it may be possible. Yoji-kun... If you don't kill me, everything will stay just as it is. With no hope for salvation, you'll live every day paralyzed by the fear of your impending death. And I don't want to put you through something like that. I know. I don't want my memories to be erased. I mean, forgetting all this would be like trying to hide from the truth. Is that really such a bad thing? If you don't do this, all that awaits is despair greater than you can possibly imagine. You don't understand the terror of certain death. Don't make your decision without at least thinking about it first. Uh, why is this happening? You don't have to decide right now. There's still some time. December 31st, New Year's Eve. You have until then to think about it. After that, I'll dissolve into the blackness of the dark hour and lose my physical form. Yachi. When Nyx arrives, I'm going to disappear anyway. So please, don't worry about me. I'll be back when New Year's Eve rolls around. Ryuji-kun's presence vanished just now. There's no point in chasing him. He's gone. <laughs> Ryuji-kun... I guess... he'll be back. what they call divine guidance. The detective called me this morning and said he found my wife and son. He said they're running a small restaurant. Sounds like it's pretty popular among the locals. My son's married. His wife is pregnant. Sure makes me feel old. I ain't coming back till I earn their forgiveness. So, I'll be out of town for a I decided the next time I saw your face would be the day I leave. So I'll be going tonight. I'll get down on my knees if I have to. If my son wants to sock me in the face, well, that's fine too. 
I, I've been thinking about proposing to my wife again. Even though I'm not so good with words, I'm gonna say, I want to recite the sutras with you by my side for the rest of my life. Well, how's that sound? <laughs> Come on, kid, you're, you're embarrassing me. Might not mean much coming from a monk who couldn't relinquish thoughts of the family he lost. But I was finally able to face the fact that I was drinking to hide my true feelings. It was an enlightenment of sorts. <laughs> it's all your fault, kid. After lecturing you all those nights, you started reminding me of my son. Maybe Buddha sent you to help me. <laughs> I gotta admit, I believe in fate. If I'd not met you, I don't think I'd ever see my family again. I owe you, kid. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Tower Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Tower within thyself. Take this. Think of it as a goodbye gift. When you mix Contro with white rum and lemon juice and shake it, you get a cocktail called XYZ. Movies and manga often use the initials XYZ to symbolize the end of something, but I consider XYZ to be the best of the best. It tastes so good going down. I'll be praying that your future will be XYZ. So long, kid. How are you holding up, Kaz? My knee's not so good. Can't put too much weight on it. Okay, then let's take an early break. You mind giving Kaz's leg a quick massage? No problem. Let's see that leg. 
Sorry. You're missing practice because of me. Hey, don't be like that. This is for your nephew, right? Still, I'm really sorry. Hey! Do you have a minute? There's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, actually, let's go somewhere else. I don't want anyone from the team hearing. Plus, it might take a while, so... Let's go somewhere. Anywhere. even start. It's all a mess in my head. First things first. This is for you. My nephew gave it to me. He said it's a good luck charm. He gave me more than I'll ever need. And if you get hurt during practice, now you can tape yourself up. I wanted you to be the first to know. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna have surgery to fix my knee. I don't think there's enough time for me to recover by then, but that's okay. I don't mean to pout or anything. I'm just trying to stop making selfish choices. I don't think it's right for the whole team to suffer because of my knee and my nephew. Even if I manage to win, I don't think I'd feel good about it afterward. Up until now, all I could think about was winning. But my eyes opened up after Coach grilled you about my knee. It was such an obvious thing. I realized I can't keep thinking only about myself. Winning still means a lot to me. That's part of who I am, and that's probably not going to change. But for now, I'm not going to worry about winning races. I'm going to focus on winning back my health instead. <laughs> well, I can't exactly force myself to heal, you know? Anyway, I can't just keep asking for your help all the time. That said, thanks for everything you've done for me so far. Between practice and rehab, I'll have a lot going on. But I'm gonna kick butt both of them. And someday, I'll kick your butt too. I am Val. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the chariot arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the chariot within thyself. I'm gonna go tell my nephew what happened and offer to go through rehab with him. I wonder which one of us will recover first. He's a tough one, you know, just like me.
Thank you very much. <sighs> Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The Student Council President would like to speak with you. Please report to the Student Council room immediately. I repeat. The President wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money too. Y yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good. You're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... I... myself I uh, I I didn't do it well I thought as much you believe me considering all the work you've been doing for the student council I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor I just wanted to hear it directly from you Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! clearly remember what happened that day. You had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving. I also remember handing the fee money to you directly. Or are you really going to say that this is my mistake? Fee money? Give me an explanation right now, or else... I'm so sorry. You're right. It's, it's completely my fault. Well, Senpai has been... Wait, what? Well... The truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I'd been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How... how could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. 
Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Can you blame me? <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. I, 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 lo I love you. Uh, oh, I see. Um, then do you think we could still be friends? Ah, oh, thank goodness. I'm just glad that we're still closer than when we first met. Oh, I still have to apologize to the student council president. I think I owe her an explanation, so excuse me. No. 